<laughs> I need I, well, the video we did I said I need another inch on my arm and he said that's what she said all right so welcome to the Mendota ranch um, so this is what we got going on today so I've just landed in this helicopter we've had a bunch out here shooting doing the you know doing the rotor recoil so um, so I'm just kind of getting this helicopter put up and Todd Hodnett just showed up here so Todd owns accuracy first uh, Todd's invented all these um, reticles, like the like the trimmer one, two, and three. So all these reticles that the military uses, that's Todd. And, uh, military guys around shooting, that's Todd's guys. Okay, and I'm usually in Todd's helicopter. So Todd, who's a commercial pilot, big time fixed wing guy, um, he is uh, needing his flight review in the helicopter. So. Um, I'm a flight instructor, so I can do his flight review. Actually, Todd and I are really good buddies. About anything that I do is fun is with Todd. So when you see me shooting a deer at two plus miles, well, Todd's giving me the, the dope for it. So, um, but the neat thing about being an instructor and being a, having a buddy that's an instructor, you get to do flight reviews for free. So these Robinsons, you have to do a flight review every, a buy in your flight review every two years. So that's what I'm doing doing with him, and I was going to tag y'all along on the flight review. And if y'all ever need a flight review, I've got a cool little cabin that we're uh, remodeling. And so you can bring your family down, fly down the helicopter, stay in a cabin. We go do our flight review or we do uh, external load work, whatever you got to do. And we get your logbook signed off. But anyways, I know it's just not super exciting, but what a flight review is, it's a safety procedure. So we're going to just go through a couple little safety procedures or emergency procedures. And that's pretty much our flight review. So uh, if y'all want to, just tag along if it's something you're interested in. All right, here we go. Ready, set. I'm ready if you are. I have no clue. All right, well, we got, um, you're clear my way. You got no. the winds off, is off my left shoulder over here. All right, everything All right. Means everything's in the green. Looks like we got some fuel, so. Yep, you're clear left. We put a rope in the arena where you do your little pedal turns. Yeah. How's that working out? Well, somebody needs to freaking finish it. <laughs> Made for a good weed patch. Where's your rain gauge? It's up on top of my house. It's a, it's it's one of them digital ones. I don't think it's as accurate. I don't as think it is. Me and Eddie have the same stuff, and you got the same cloud I did. Yeah, I know exactly, and that's why a quarter inch less. Yeah, I dang near didn't send send in my stuff because I'm like going, gosh dang it, ain't I, when it comes hard like that, I'm always behind. Hey Eddie, this is Todd. Uh, me and Jason are out and about. Roger that. I'm at Whitty Hollow right now. Roger, we heard you. Yeah, we'll probably uh, we'll probably work towards towards the airport, Eddie, so we can uh, do a pre-flight review. Okay, sounds good. I'll be running up the creek in a little bit to the airport. All right, Jay. All right, Jay. Just let us know when you get close. All right, so let's do a settling with power first. Yeah, I'm going to be flying over the creek for the next five minutes. My creek faster. So let's uh, go ahead and just climb climb on up on your way to the airport. Okay. And we'll get some altitude, and then we'll get up into uh, get up um, and turn it into the wind, and we'll do you know just settling with the power deal. Yeah. You know, we say it's settling with power. It's actually like settling with wind to your vortexes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the settling with power. Let's um, just bring it up to zero airspeed when you get turned around here, yeah. and then um, and then we want to just come down to the collective. We need to get your vertical speed. Yep. It'll take it'll take you know quite a bit, and then once we, so I kind of what I want you to do is kind of tell me when you're into it, and then once you're, once you're into it, you get you know you get that shake and your yep. pedals get really mushy, yep. and then I want you to go uh, the the Richard, uh you know left pedal little power in that way. So you're at zero airspeed. Yeah, we're at zero. Yeah, you're there. You go. You yep. start. That's that's the start of it. Good job. Yep. All right, God, go left. Good job. All right, you're out of it. Up. Oh. Kind of back in it. I go left again. Are you gonna go left? Go left again. Yeah, go left. All right, now go Good clean out air. Clean air. There you go. Right out of it. And then you know the other way you can do it is we can just drop the collective and go forward and fly out of it. Yeah, that's good. It, huh? You lose so little doing the yeah, Bichard. Yeah, yeah, the Bichard is is your go-to. So anytime you're out flying around, because you know, the wind switches and you sometimes you have your head up your ass. Yep. And you get that uh, tail that. You, you get you go to settle on power because you're coming in with a tailwind. Yep. That's your go-to. If you don't have, so you get in a yeah, shimmy, quick deal right quick, there, and 
and then you're all out of it. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of times you're you know, if you're like me and you, you don't have 500 feet to give up. No, we got no. maybe 50 if we're lucky. Yeah, uh -huh. and you can get out of this in 50. Yeah, and then yeah. push hard. Yeah, but if you go forward, you're losing 200, right? Yeah, yeah, you're done. Yeah, yeah. So, right, so let's let's ease back towards the airport. So then we're going to do a uh, let's do a uh, low rotor RPM recovery. This is where it's like okay, you're flying along and, and you get a horn, and it could be because you're super heavy, super hot, or maybe you know you fly into some weather conditions. Usually, what it is is you're you're losing it. Maybe you might be losing an engine, or you got a, yep. you just got a, a stuck valve or something. And so the reason we practice this is because even though you're going down with the collective, you still got to roll throttle on because the collective, you know, it's got the correlator. As you go down the collective, the collective is actually roll, rolling throttle sure. off. Yeah. So you still you got to get in the habit of rolling throttle back on as you go down. Okay. Okay. And your indicator is going to be you'll get this yaw to the left. All right. So we're going to roll throttle off. Here, here, here. So we hear the throttle. throttle. Right All there. Right. All right, now I want you to cl want you to uh, recover it. So go down and roll through all alone. All right, let's do that one more time. All right. Okay, I'm uh, just south of Mendota Road, about to follow the railroad tracks up to the airport. Yeah, we are about two miles uh, straight out of 2-2 to the southwest. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'll, I'll roll through all off again. All right. Uh, yep. Roll there you go, good. Now save it. Just be careful not to overspeed. Yeah, huh? don't don't overspeed it. You're fine. Yeah. So if you get good. if you get close, of course you're you're going down. If you get close, you can just pull the collective up, and yep. that's going to be taking some of that out of it, right? Yeah. And and another thing you do is you do a little aft cyclic. Okay. That loads your blades up. So let's do it one oh, more okay. time. Yep. And Here just do go. and just do aft cyclic. Roll throttle off. Okay. Now aft cyclic, and go down the collective. There you go. Yeah. All right. See how I brought it back? You controlled it. Yeah, yep. you controlled it. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Sorry about that. Yep. All right, so let's go, let's go on down. Let's do a uh, hover and auto. Yeah, hover auto before yeah. we do the real one? Yeah. Well, if you make sure the motor does. Make sure the motor <laughs> keeps running. I want to do, I want to do a hover and auto, and then I want to do some, a couple quick stops. Yeah. And then let's do it, and then we'll come back and we'll just do a, a freaking auto. Okay. And then before we get into the enhanced autos. Okay. You're doing great. Deal the other day, I hauled. I had those shooters in there from News uh, Channel 10. The goes clear runway, Canadian. And the cameraman was in the back jacking around, and his freaking ball cap flies off. Oh, uh, I know. So I mean, that's kind of stuff that's going to sneak up on you. Yeah, and you're going to lose a tail rotor. Yeah, and in the winter time, somebody's going to get hot because yep. they're getting sick. They're going to take their jacket off and not tell you. Yeah, that's part of the safety brief going in. Yeah, hey, you can't remove your jacket if you do. We got to land and stow it under the seat. Yep. And they explain to them. I mean, that's what killed that last guy in uh, New Zealand. Yep. Jack, yep. Jacket flew out, got in the rotor, jacket. and boom. So that's it. So that's it. Transitional lift. That's it yep. coming out, hitting the tail rotor. Good. That's perfect. If you want to do a hovering auto here, we'll play safe. All right. So we'll go uh, three, two, one. So remember, go be patient with the collective. Wait on it. Wait on it. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to push down. Right? Yeah, I'll, are I'll, we going to roll off throttle? I'll, I'll, I'll roll off and hold the throttle. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll do this one, okay? Okay. You stay on, you on here with me, yeah, okay? I'm with you. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. okay. So you see how I waited at the very end, okay? Okay. Now, we got a little, I think we got a little bit of wind I did over too. here. It felt it. All right. You got the bird, okay? Three, two, one. Good. Nice. Right. All right, let's do another one. All right, so the one thing uh, you get into is the helicopter wants to go this way. Yep. So that's that need to push more this yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. Because because you're not getting any more thir thrust out of your tail rotor. Coming up. All right. Three, two, one. Well, I did pull up. Yeah, you're a little slow on your pull. Up. Let's yeah. do another one. That one. That one. That one was kind of sucky. Yeah, that was horrible. What makes you really I was focusing on the pulling right and not on the lifting up. <laughs> 
What makes you really feel bad is one of your instructors steps out and sees the tail's still there. <laughs> That's what happened to me. It's like, really? Where at? <laughs> you think the tail really fell off? Is that bad? Three, two, one. There you go. So still not lifting yeah, up enough. Yeah, let's do one more. Yeah. So get a little bit more forward movement. You're kind of coming back. A little bit more forward. Three, two, one. There you go. So you still got a little bit of aft. So. Yeah, and I had uh, too much flying when I was actually. Yeah. So get this time. I want you to get a little, little bit of forward, forward movement with it. Okay. Three, two, one. There you go. That was better. Yeah. Look, we're kind of on unlevel ground here too. Let me do one. And, okay. and you get, you stay on here with yep. me. I'm gonna get back over here, kind of where the ground may be a little lighter. All right. So here we go. All right, so be looking out there. So you won't we won't have to go with the the right pedal level. All right, so not just I think you're rushing it. So let's go nice and slow here. Okay, yeah. one, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, three, two, one. There you go. Perfect. Ah, right, that's a good one. Yeah. Below one two thousand temperature. I'd guess this is higher two, than nine or two point. Felt like it's about twenty when I was flying her. All right, so we'll get up here. Let's go 70, 70 knots. Uh, call it five seven hundred feet. Okay. So we're about there, about there, and so then we'll go uh, get level. So three two one, we'll roll throttle off and collective at the same time. Right, right pedal, aft cyclic. Okay. And I don't care where you go. Let's just let's just hit the just, airport somewhere. Just hit the airport somewhere and don't kill us. We'll we'll do a recovery. <laughs> we'll do a recovery there. A recovery auto. Okay. Hi, right, you ride with me. I'm with you. Ready? All right, here we go. Go throttle off. There you go. Aft cyclic. There you go. Okay. Air speed. Air speed. There you go. Doing good. Everything looks good. RPMs are good. Air speed's good. Doing great. Speed's good. That's all right. You're good. Airspeed's good. RPMs are good. Okay, we'll get line up. Going. All right. There we go. Let's start your flare. Watch your RPMs. Flare, 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 flare. flare. Roll throttle on. Nice one. Good job. All right. Do it, do it again, but this time you're going to have to pick a spot. Okay, so I'm picking a spot now. What I want you to set up, that spot's going to be right there in the windshield. Yeah. And I want you to hold it and you ride it like it a, like a it. zip line. Yeah. Yeah. So that might that means you might have to give up a little bit of airspeed, give up a little bit, you know, RPMs. Yeah. Okay. So, so what you did there? Got too low on the airspeed. Yeah, so you had no yeah. flare. 
Yeah, and I was on the, I was coming in steep. Yeah. So that's what, like he's talking about, you got to kill all your airspeed and come down and yeah. float it out at the end. Yep. Yeah, you, yeah, you, uh, so, so, so the ideal is you kill, you kill your airspeed up high and then, and then come down and then grab and your airspeed. Yeah, yeah, once you get your yeah. spot. Get that collected down. Get. Yeah. Good job. Watch RPMs. RPMs, there you go. Oop, collect. Yep, there you go. RPMs collected down. There you go. All right. Looks pretty good. Good. All right. Get those air. Get that airspeed. Your RPMs are good. Airspeed's good now. Well, what you got? You gonna get a little long? Maybe get your airspeed. Watch your airspeed. Good. Looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, watch your airspeed. Let's get that good flare. Watch your RPMs. Yeah, right on the uh, money. Yeah, right you there. You're good. Good, good, good. Perfect. Good one to finish on. Nice. Good job, Todd. Good job. my bike in the morning for a workout. Yeah, I told Bonnie you need to come, she needs to try it out. She goes, I just more money we got your pan. I'm like, yeah. Oh, dude, you got to come I got to try it. It's, it's totally unbelievable. You, you'll be riding through sand that you would swear you got to pedal or get off and walk on a mountain yep. bike, and you ride through it like you're yep. on pavement. You know what happens when you're talking like this? The engine rolls off. <laughs> There you go, watch his airspeed, good. Good job. Trying to pick your spot, I'd be aiming for that road right there, huh? Yeah, I'm just past it. Hey, no, right there, you good. Watch your RPMs, good. Nice, see that little flat spot in that road? I'll uh, go ahead and flare here, RPMs. Nice, we lived. Good job, Todd. Barely. Thanks for not killing us. <laughs> Good job. All right. See what happens? Yeah. <laughs> Sam R44 is real. Yeah. Kill you. yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where's that tower? Uh, it's right over here. Straight in front of us. Hold yeah. On. <laughs> That's that tower. I mean that one. <laughs> well, that deal. You know, at that airspeed. Remember, you were going 90 knots. You could have stretched it all the way. Yeah. You know. Hey. And we, we'll practice that next time we get up, let's practice your 90-90. You could have made it to that location. Easy. Oh, really? Yeah. But and we were already near, you know, oh, well, we were high on our RPM. Yeah. You good. Yeah, you could have, I mean, that's what I was saying. You could drug those RPMs down. Yep. And made it. And that's the real world, because this is where we fly. Yep. You this know, is, this is this is actually high. This is it. Yep. And really, I'm not for sure if it isn't a little bit easier. You don't have the options. Yeah. But you've already got the airspeed going yeah, for you. Yeah, now, if you're we're shooting... That's another world. Yeah, that's where you, we kind of stay in that 50, 50 knot deal, because you can save it at 50 knots. You know, because that 50 knot, like right, you sit right here at 50 knots, you see how this thing just floats and floats. That's yeah. where you got to push it through that 50 knots. 